is the wireless technology. So what is wireless technology? Wireless technology is used for connecting devices in wireless mode. Wireless technology, when first introduced, had a significant impact on our lives, so it helps us to stay connected always. So there are a number of business values or benefits of wireless technology we have there in this slide. It helps business processes not limited by time of space because it can provide real-time data and workers can work remotely. It can also uh, can be a source of new channel for communicating with clients. So we can just send messages, email our client, uh, conduct Zoom or team meeting and other tools so we can continuously communicate our business client. It can be a source of new products and services because it helps us to have new opportunities to business. So it allow us to offer new products or services as long as you have an internet access via Wi-Fi or hotspot or broadband. Example, yung online selling, yung mga business transactions, remittances, business payments, and others. So it also contributes employee efficiency. Example, yung salesperson can remotely check the stock level and prices while on sales call. Inventory in the warehouse can easily be identified in terms of quantity and size. Let's say for shoes or clothes, you can easily know if there are available stocks or none. It also contributed to flexibility of the company employees. In some company, uh, you can work in different area or site. So aside from your workstation, it can be in the pantry or even in the meeting room. If you want privacy, when you have a meeting with a client, you can also do customer service anywhere you want. So just like what is happening nowadays, because of pandemic, one of the best business continuity plans is to let the employees work from home. So what are some of the wireless technologies that people, business, organizations, or group use for communications and networking? We have cellular systems. So cellular systems have two competing standards for cellular service. We have there in the slide the CDMA and GSM. So the first one, CDMA stands for Code Division Multiple Access. It is mostly widely used in the United States. It is less expensive and supports higher quality transmissions. While the other one, we have GSM, or the Global System for Mobile Communication. It is used um, in Europe and much of the rest of the world. So uh, its strength is in international roaming capabilities and AT&T, T-Mobile, Nokia use GSM and even the rest of the countries in the world. So we have different cellular generation. From first generation, then we have second generation, third generation, which is called the smartphone, fourth generation, and lastly, the fifth generation, which is the super fast mobile or cellular phone. Aside from the cellular systems, we also have wireless computer um, networks and internet access. We are all familiar with the term Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So we have their Bluetooth or the IEEE 802.15. So Bluetooth is a short-range wireless communication technology na ginagamit natin pag can share or ng voice, data, music, photos, videos, and other information na, na prepared sa um, between the devices. So it links up to eight devices in 10 meter area 
It is useful for personal networkings and in business to transmit data from handle devices to other transmitters. Another one is the Wi-Fi or the so-called wireless fidelity. Wireless fidelity in, or the IEEE A02.11 which includes sets of standards A02.11A, A02.11B, A02.11G, and A02.11N. These standards differ in terms of transmittal and megabits per second. So if we have A02.11A, its range is up to 10 to 30 meters, while A02.11B, the range niya is 30 to 50 meters. And yung 802.11G, it uses 2.4 gigahertz band and transmit up to 54 megabits per second. Yung 802.11N naman, ito yung mas greater performance and more range than the other standards. So, wireless or wi wireless fidelity or Wi-Fi is used for wireless LAN and wireless internet access. This is used as accent access points rather with the device with radio receiver or transmitter for connecting wireless devices to a wired local area network or LAN. Of course, wireless is used to eliminate complex cabling, to eliminate switches, tinatay gumagamit mga adapters or plugs to connect to internet. That's all. So the next one is hotspots. Access points in public places to provide maximum wireless coverage for a specific area. Ito yung wireless technology na you can access internet through Wi-Fi on your mobile devices or laptop. If you have a better signal, then you can easily access internet. Usually, this is provided by businesses like coffee shops, new motels, restaurants, airports, train stations like LRT, MRT, and even school and universities. Only that, we have to be careful on connecting public hotspots because there is some issue on security. Next one is WiMAX for A0 2.16. This allows user to browse internet on a laptop without physically connecting in a router. This can provide at home or mobile internet access across whole cities or countries because its range is 31 miles. It requires WiMAX antennas. It provides internet connectivity as part of business continuity plan. This hassle-free, reliable, high-speed broadband access. nag operate yung WiMAX the same as Wi-Fi, only that it has higher speed. That's large coverage, so remote areas can easily get broadband access. And aside from that, it is expensive and power consuming. Wireless technology is what we call radio frequency identification or RFID. So RFID is a form of wireless telecommunication that has an automatic identification method. So the main purpose are identification and location. So it has two types of tags. We have their active tags. It has their own power source. And it is more expensive and longer read range. While the passive tag, it has no internal power source. It is less expensive and shorter read range. So there are different applications of RFID technology. It can be used to identify objects like stocks of goods for inventory or warehouse, payment in toll collection, animals for farmers to identify the origin and medical details, persons to identify who, where, and when it's entering a building or room. Just like in some companies, each employee should have an access patch in order for them to enter the company premises. It can be, or this is 
an alternative to barcodes because barcodes are relatively cheap and as the technology is not sure it is simple and easy to use with little or no training required so barcodes are quite reliable and accurate but are subject to operator mistakes and environmental hindrances and the last wireless technology that i'm going to discuss is the wireless sensor networks or wsn this is a network that contains distributed independent sensor devices that are meant to monitor physical or environmental conditions. So devices that build in processing, storage, and radio frequency sensors and antennas. This requires low power, long-lasting batteries, and ability to endure in the field without maintenance. What are the typical applications or uses of wireless sensor networks or WSN. It includes weather and forest monitoring, battlefield surveillance, physical monitoring of environmental conditions such as low pressure, temperature, vibration, pollutants or tracing human and animal movements in forest and borders. So, overall, wireless technology has really helped to enhance the business world today. It can be used in so many ways and has the potential to benefit both the employee as well as the business. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you, everyone.